Okay, so the year is 2022. Very shortly, I am going to show all the names which have helped put this channel back on track. I didn't place any on the last video because it may end up being deleted. I'm also thinking about opening another playlist dealing with, let's say, the problems with reality. Something similar to the channel owner Quantum of Conscience. The guy is called Matt and he's work is mainly dealing with the fact how we never seem to get a win we can speak as much as we like uh, throw as much evidence with these conspiracies at our friends and family members and they will just never see the light of day they have to come to the truth on their own now of course this new playlist which I am going to open is not something which has arisen from my own mind it's just something that I can add to from all the bits and pieces from being into this stuff for over a decade as opposed to this playlist which is where this video will go and what the channel will always be about I've decided to look at these three sites first because I've had that many people asking me to look at Petra in Jordan. So when you see what I'm going to present here you will have an idea where I'm going to take that video. This is the main site that we're going to look at during this video and if you've been looking at this stuff as long as I have the, the narrative is is that this thing was carved from the ground down just like the site I just showed you there at Aloria. But it's clear to see that this was covered in mud and that's what I have presented before. It is basically what has happened to the site we can see that at some point they dug their way through this and managed to find a specific area. They call them churches, there's seven. I've got about five of them to show you here. Now, in my opinion, what has actually happened here is that it's been built from mud. You're basically looking at mud huts on a massive scale with wooden framing that might sound silly to some of you but I'm going to show you the evidence for that which is undisputable right uh, and most of these sites or let's say a tsunami came in and smashed the surrounding area uh, with mud and covered the rest of it okay so what I mean by mud huts on a massive scale basically you would build a wooden structure a, a wooden skeleton and then you would smother that in mud silt in whatever the surrounding area had right uh, and then it hardens uh, i have got ancient and modern examples for you to look at to prove this Now I know of some of the argument that people use against this to say that it's been built with blocks and that's because of the outer post that you're looking at. It, that's just where archaeologists have just come in and tidied up the area and they've rebuilt it that way. Uh, whether that's to deceive people or not or maybe it's just to show the area up, you know, they've got visitors going there. 
but the overall structure is built exactly the same way as what I've just been showing you and we'll do it throughout this video exactly what the area that I'm pointing out with the arrow is there um, I'm not too sure I've seen a few shapes like that on the ground where they've been excavating this so there's obviously a lot more still to dig out of these areas uh, I have seen pictures of them where they've built steps and they've been going underground looking at this so who knows just how much more is buried but the entire thing was built out of mud Now if you look over on the right hand side of this picture those are not just fancy images to imitate more houses right so there's obviously a lot more underground uh, but anyway I'm gonna have to stop speaking so Alice has just gone to bed uh, but in terms of these paintings you can see how fresh they are so again how long does paint last has this been done by archaeologists or has this event taken place pretty recently? I'll leave that in your hands. Thank you. 
Well, if you like that, ladies and gentlemen, and you want to help the channel moving forward, you can press on the link in a pinned comment, which will be in every video from now on. Thank you.